Hey guys, how are you doing? We have been in the lockdown for more than 50 days now. And in these days, I've noticed a lot of differences how the lockdown was implemented in India versus in Canada. So I thought it would be an interesting video to compare the lockdown and the situations in the two countries. I will show you some stark differences, but by this I do not mean to criticize any steps taken by the governments. Both the countries, their people, the challenges, the perspective is different. Both the governments did a wonderful job, both the governments did their best to stop the spread. But at the same time, it was a lot different. So in this video, we'll compare the lockdown in India versus Canada. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. While in the countrywide lockdown in India, everything came to a standstill, including the Indian Railways, which was probably the first time in history. All the passenger flights, including domestic and international flights, were grounded except the rescue flights. All the other modes of transport like cabs, interstate and local buses, metro were stopped as well. While Canada was a lot different from this picture. Talking of flights, you might be amazed to know that however majority of the international flights were suspended, they still continued for a handful of countries including US. But some time back, the flights to and from US were also suspended. However, domestic flights still continue to operate in Canada, though with a very less frequency. That was all about the flights. What about the other modes of public transport? Intercity transport like trains and buses also never stopped. Similarly, the local city buses, streetcar, metro also never stopped. They continued with a less frequency. Some cities even ran free public transport to help its residents financially. Also, taxis and cabs continued to run on the streets as well. In India, it was a forced lockdown. It was like a curfew. Police force was used to keep the crowd limited to their home. We saw many videos daily where the locals were beaten or punished by the police. Canada's approach was a lot different. You will never see a video where the Canadian police is beating or punishing anyone. However, the country has been in a health emergency for several weeks now and people were told to stay homes. Many people were seen in parks streets and around the lakeshore. People could not restrict themselves from jogging, sitting on the bench, taking out their dog for a walk, cycling etc. And this was taken seriously by the authorities. But still, no one was manhandled. How they hurt you for doing such prohibited activities is by giving tickets which could be even a thousand dollars. Liquor stores in India were closed for the first few weeks of the lockdown as liquor is obviously not considered as an essential consumable item. And when they opened, what happened shocked everyone. Hundreds of people lined up in front of liquor shops with no fear of contracting the virus, forgetting all the social distancing rules. While in Canada, liquor stores never actually closed. However, beer and wine can also be bought from grocery stores like Walmart, but still, liquor-only stores like BS Store and LCBO have kept running. But to do the sanitization, cleaning and for the safety of their employees, the stores have been opening for reduced hours. Limited number of people are allowed to enter a store at a given time, and people who wait outside follow the social distancing rules. And they also maintain distance while waiting in the queues for billing. In India, unlike the liquor stores, grocery stores were open in many areas but for a limited time, mostly in the morning hours. While in India, more grocery stores are small shops, so it is difficult to manage them. But in Canada, the grocery shopping is done in giant superstores like Walmart, Metro, Sobeys, No Frills, etc. You might have seen that 
when the lockdown started people started panicking and some items like tissue paper went out of stock but after a few weeks everything got normal got stocked up again and stores continued to work with reduced hours and social distancing measures in place India declared a country wide lockdown and that too just 4 hours before the lockdown was supposed to get started since then as you are aware the lockdown has been extended couple of times and the lockdown 3.0 is until 17th of may and it may get extended even further while on the other side canada's approach was a bit different canada never declared such a strict lockdown here there were some provinces with a very high number of positive cases others had just a few hence it was on to the provincial governments to decide the level of lockdown in their provinces depending on the criticality the provinces decided the lockdowns but no province in canada declared such a strict lockdown as in there lockdown here meant closing of schools colleges malls parks movie theaters other recreational activities and then as the number of cases kept on rising by the start of april all the non essential businesses were closed as well all of it was done in phases and the businesses were given around 24 to 48 hours time before closing so thank you guys for watching this video if you like the video please click the like button if you agree with what i had to say please share it with your friends if you have any feedback please put it down in the comment section below and yes if you haven't subscribed my channel yet what are you waiting for please click the subscribe button for more interesting videos like these thanks again